Hello, my name's Sophie and I am part of the Dent Dog Fashion team. Today we're going to be making a bandana. So here's what you need. You need some thread, a needle, a measuring tape, the pattern for your bandana, some thread clippers, this is our little thank you card we put in our pack, a pencil, something to poke the corners out. These are our care labels, we buy these off a lovely lady, um, she makes them all up. They're 100% cotton labels that we sew in. And the fabric that you're going to use. So we've got the outside fabric, a lining fabric and then here's our little Easter one that we decided not to use in the video. Here's our packaging boxes with some tissue that we use to pack our items. So first we take our fabric and we lay it out uh, nice and flat and we draw round our stencil. So we use pencil just because pencil washes off really easily. Um, you shouldn't see the lines anyway because they're going to be on the inside of the uh, fabric you'll see later on um, but we do use that for that reason. You can use chalk as well um, because that works just as good. And now we are cutting out the pattern out of the lining fabric. As you can see we've cut that out now um, we're going to do the exact same in the normal fabric that we're going to have on the outside. We've drawn round, we've cut out and now we've got our two pieces. So we want to stick them right sides together. Now right sides together means the side that you want to see on the outside of the fabric when it's a finished product, you want to stick them two together so it's inside out. We're going to take some thread and sew our needle. As you can see here I'm just going to sew the needle through there. And then we are going to tack a secure stitch um, to start our sewing. So to do a secure stitch we are going to um, go around a couple of times, just a normal stitch. You want to leave about an inch um, of the thread left so it doesn't slip through again. And then when you've gone through a couple of times you want to wrap the thread around the top of the needle a few times, two times is enough, and then pull it tight. Once you've pulled it tight, like you can see here, how I'm just making sure it's definitely secure and not going to come undone. I'm just checking the thread here because I just made a, <laughs> made a mistake and left the, the last bit a bit too short. Um, so we want to do a running stitch. Now a running stitch is about half a centimetre uh, wide um, from each stitch to the end of the next stitch we you just go in and out of the fabric simple as like you can see the concertina method that I'm using if you find it easier to pull it all the way through you can do that so we're nearly at the end we want to wait we want to stop about two inches from where you started now we want to do a secure tack at the end of this one as well So we just trim these extra threads off and we have our inside out product. Um, then we are wanting to turn it inside out with that gap that we left. So push it all the way through, it should be big enough to get your fingers through. Um, and then once it's sort of the majority way turned, you can get that little pokey stick that we call, um, which is just a crochet needle or you can use a pencil um, just to push out the corners. Like don't do it too hard because you might go through the stitches, but just a nice little uh, tug so you can see the definition of the corners. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here um, and making sure they're all pointed out. Now, if you do have a lot of extra fabric on the edge, you can, obviously we fold this bit in um, so it's hidden away from everything else. Now I've pressed this um, and already pressed it shut the flap so what we do is normally we would measure out the flap to make sure it's 1.5 centimeters so that's big enough for a collar to go through uh, a standard size collar 
um, make sure it's both sides the same and then press flat. I've already pressed it because I know it by eye but that's not how you would do it. Now we're going to sew all the way down this uh, section and we're going to add in our care label midway. So we're going to pop it under um, and then sew all the way down. Now you can do this by hand stitch or if you want to use a sewing machine like I am um, you can use a sewing machine. So we don't have the care labeling currently but you want to start sewing right on the edge double back it a bit a couple of times and then carry on go through. When you get to the center you want to put your needle down get your label ready lift your press foot up pop the label underneath the um, section sometimes I like to slip it in the gap that was already left so it, you don't see it when it, you don't catch the collar and then carry on sewing at the end you want to back stitch again uh, just to secure it and make it sure it's nice and secure for the collar I'm just trimming some of the extra threads off here to make it all neat So I'm just going to pop the sewing machine away and then we are ready to package. So what we do is we have our piece of tissue, we place it inside of the box that I've already pre-made with a little thank you stamp and some paws and we put our, our stuff in and then we have our little thank you card that's got all of the little details on and how to contact us just to make sure. We close it up, we make sure it's all secure and then we would put our address on there. Now, if you have any questions on how to do this, I've opened it back up while I speak to you, please leave a comment, make sure you subscribe and like the video and thank you ever so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day.